Kitchen. This has been a fun project for us, for my husband and I, for 16 months it took us to redo this kitchen. And before it was an old 1880s kitchen, so it was quite outdated when we moved in. We lived here for 48 years. So we decided to remodel the kitchen. We tore, we gutted the whole kitchen, took all the old cupboards out, took them to the farm and burned them, took all the lath and plaster out. My husband got rid of those at the farm. The farm comes in quite handy. And then out of magazines that I'd been looking at for years, I'd rip out certain articles I really liked and wanted uh, to put in my kitchen. And so my daughter, Linda, Colby and I, designed the cupboards ourselves and the kitchen. So when we started, over here was an old pantry, but now it's, it's a beautiful camp pantry with even the floors in there. And my husband built the shelves so it looks really nice and it's got its own light in there. Then I started with a baking center. This is supposed to be the old fashioned Hoosier where you're supposed to do your baking. It used to have flour and sugar here. So I made this my baking center. So I have all my canisters of sugar and flour in here, all my baking ingredients. And in the drawer, I have it divided in this back part is for my rolling pins. And this is my very first Lazy Susan. So that utilizes this corner. And before, this used to be a window here and it looked out in the utility. We took the window out and put the stove in here. This is, was a new stove. And this is my first appliance garage. And my husband wired everything so there's lights above, there's lights underneath the covers, and so it's really nice. And then there's a beautiful fan, and then this whole cupboard, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all special for all. This is for all my spices, all the way up, and then all the shelves for spices and cooking items. And then this drawer in the bottom is a specialty item. This is for all the pan lids. They're separate and all the pans go in the bottom of the oven drawer, so that makes it nice. Then we have this little space left here, and so my son-in-law said, why don't you put a broom closet? All my Christmas dishes I don't use very much, and then I had it for some margarita glasses that slides in, or any goblets and fancy dishes go in here. And then I have all my pictures, in here, you can tell I'm quite a collector. And then here's a cute thing. Instead of having your phone out for everybody to see how bad it looks, my husband put a phone jack in here. We had a portable phone, we put it in here. At night we charged it, in the daytime we had it out, and then it's all concealed and you don't see it. On this side is for toaster. You put your toaster in a basket, slide it in, and when you're going to cook, you put it down here in the basket and cook. And also inside here is a outdoor uh, outlet for the outside. So if you want to trim anything, it's, it's here. So you can turn it on and off. Um, we have nice individual cupboards. And over here, my husband added another shelf. For, this is for trays and whatnot and baking and dishes. And then I wanted a, a bread drawer, the old fashioned, so they put a lid on it for me, so the bread's in here staying fresh. And these were the cereal cupboards, but I don't know what you might use them for. And here was for kids. I had all the kids play things in here, like uh, coloring books and crayons for the grandkids to play with. And this I used for candles. I had lots of candles and holders in there. And another nice big cupboard. My husband put another shelf in for dishes. And over here is a fine, fine, fine thing. You hang up your tablecloths here and they don't get wrinkled. So that was fun. And down here you put your placemats and anything else, hot holders. And then this used to have a door on it. And we took the door off and they made a wine rack here. Then this used to have, this used to be all paneled. We took the panels out and put in thermal panes here so it's all, all thermal panes. 
along with all the windows in the kitchen, took all those out and put thermal panes in all of those. And I didn't like seeing the numbers on the thermal panes, so my husband made small molding and put it in and then I painted it all. So you can tell my husband's quite handy. And up here is for all your other pretty dishes. And it's got a groove in the back. I had for all your plates that you want to stand up to show off. I miss that in my new house. I miss this whole kitchen, in fact. And this design here in the cupboard where it goes in and out and in and out. Stop it. For this design, they took it and put it on the feet of the cupboards. They cut it out so it's all the same. And then to make it really special, my husband put in under lights, which at night is very pretty because it comes out on your toes. Let's see, where's this one? Hmm, don't see it. Anyway, at night you can see it really good. And this one was more for my depression glass. I had a glass shelf put in, and I have two shelves of it. This had was no island here, no division, and my son-in-law thought it would be nice to separate the kitchen from the eating area. So he had that put in, and my very first granite, too. And he put the microwave in, and then they left it like that. I said, that looks terrible, you can't do that. So then they made this front on it, so it looks really nice now. Then I, when we got the dishwasher, my husband figured out that we had to bump it back into the bathroom, otherwise the doors wouldn't open, so the dishwasher's sunk into the bathroom. And here's my great, got the dishwasher. Okay, now we have the sink, and it's an original to the house, 1880. It's never been refinished, and it's in wonderful condition, and for probably 28 years I couldn't stand it, and then it last when it was time to remodel the kitchen I said oh I think I really love it now and of course now it's back in style so I have a waste basket that slides in and out which is really a nice feature and then my cupboards over here to get your cleaning articles slide in and out both shelves which is lovely and this is called a Z design which I stole from Home Depot because if the cupboard stuck out you couldn't lean back to do your dishes. So that's another fine feature. And here's where I put cute knickknacks and cute things and I had a groove put in the glass so I could stand up my plates. And I think that's basically the whole thing. We have a wonderful door. It broke when we first came in so we had to have another one made. And we usually left it open because we didn't want the little kids fingers getting caught in between the door. And I'm leaving my wonderful chopping block that I bought in the 70s. And the guy brought it here from, from Idaho Free for us. And it was only $300, and now I think it's worth a thousand. And I used to put a tablecloth on it when we had buffets and stuff and put my food here and there. And it was a wonderful party time. I'm gonna miss my kitchen. A kitchen ceiling, which I'd seen also in a magazine and wanted, and this part was a higher ceiling than that part because it's the old ceiling and that was the new part that was added on 15 years ago. So we put the beam up, put some boards over it, I stained it all to match the cupboards, and we put the, the electrical men, put the lights in, and we have a wonderful magazine ceiling.